chalk painting. And these are the colors I'm gonna be using to paint the rocks. So as you can see, they're mostly um, paint colors that I can be using. And the brand is Water Base Markers. And they're also Scat. Today, I'm gonna start with the color black. I'm gonna push this side, that side, that side. And we're gonna be using this rock. So if you can find, ask your mom to go outside in your backyard. If you have any of these big rocks, um, go find one and then wash it with, with soap and then scrub it. Scrub it with a brush, a mini brush or something to clean it. All right, let's get started. So first here, I'm gonna outline. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, is probably, I'm gonna probably do some really emanation. I know the head's a little bit big. are really well designed. So I'm going to be adding some color to this after it dries. Or maybe it'll dry. Right now, I'm, I will be adding some color to this and I'll be doing the eyes. Let's start. So first, we have our white for the tail. Shake that up. Now we carefully put that there. So you can see where the white is. And now, after that, go here, put a black back, and then I would choose the color of my eyes, which I think would be really good if I added two colors at the same time. So first, I'm gonna add a dark blue here. So a circle like that. And I'm gonna add a light. There, there you go. And as you can see, I will let my light blue dry. And then after that, I will begin the rest after everything dries. So now, since that's drying, I'm going to be doing the ears in pink. As you can see, a pink color. So you just got a dab like that. Like there. And then, there. After that, we're going to go back to the eyes again. And as you can see, my blue is looking a little bit drier. Yeah. And I'm gonna add some more detail to it because I think it's really looking really cute. There. So now, what I'm gonna add to this while well, the drying is, you notice how the fox is not really very detailish? 
So I'm gonna put a dot there. Bruh. One sec. I need a cross. Okay. The problem is I the where the problem is when I wanted I wanted the fox to have a black eye in the middle. But as you can see, I keep getting I cannot have black because the blue is too runny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of Kleenex to dab it like that. There. white to the black to make it look like 3D. Oops. Too much white. So now what we do in if we have too much color we dab it like that. And then you can see that. So look at the black. It's there. After that Also, don't worry about the, the, the white, because also you can dab it as well. And if it, if, you, if it doesn't work, then you can do that like that. And then wait for your fox to dry on, on your white, and then start to color in the remaining parts with black. We have a little bit of white, blue, and some other colors there. So now if I dab it, there, you can see the white, a little bit of white there. It's a little bit missing. Hold on. Don't think I make our, my fox's eyes a little bit bigger. So you can add any detail you want, but make sure you're careful with the eyes, because the eyes are very tricky. If you're making some sort of design, it's best to outline in black first. And then, if it's too runny, dab it with a tissue. Like that. See? It's not runny anymore. Perfect. And then, as you want to go, you can add a little bit blue around your thing again. There. There. That. If it's too runny, Dab it again. There. There's your blue. And that. And then, for the eyes, you can add some more black. Just in case you don't have enough black. In your eyes. There. And then, dab it again. There. There you go. There's a black dot. your choice. You want yours to be red? You go with the red one. If you want your fox to be not red then For me, I always cover in the black. 
but that's okay. Because you're coloring it anyways. So then, after that, if you don't want the black on your tail, then you can do this. There. Like that. And after that. There. Undab it. It's too much. And color in your fox. There. So for me, I am coloring in my ears. That I added to my little fox there. You can see. And then grab my pink. Go over the black. Like that. So you want to be careful because it can leak into the red like that so if your fox's ears are messy then you can rub it like that and they'll show um, something more like not a very happy fox ears which you don't want there then you can make your fox ears be a little bit big and then you have to be very careful when you dab it you don't want to dab it too hard. If you dab it too hard, you'll get all the color off like that. So you see, I was dabbing it too hard, so now I gotta replace it with the marker. There. Now let's sit up. So now, grab the blocks again. Block again. Go here. Color in the nose. Your fox. Also, if you're missing, if you want your your bottom of the fox to be yellow paws, you can just do that as well. Doesn't really matter, but it's pretty good to me. Get up, and you see that you color. So this line, rock here, and the foxes, there, there, so that, and then there. So half of your fox, so you can edit. For me, I'm adding the grass. You can add the grass in any way you want. But just do it over a red tray because if you are very clumsy, then it might get all over the table and you cannot clean it off. And you don't want that. You gotta be very careful. Like that. Okay. So now, what I do for my fox background is I color everything light blue. And then you can, you see the white paint? That will be the clouds, your clouds. So, gotta be very careful if your paint, or else it's not gonna feel very welcomed. I suggest you get a smooth stone. 
because my stone is not smooth. My stone is rough. It'll wreck your markers. If you have this marker, it'll wreck it. Or if you if you have a rough stone, then dab it. Just dab it. But don't slide it across because it'll break it. For me, I'm just sliding it across because I can do what I want with this because this is my marker. But I'm mostly dabbing it along the way because I do not want to damage the tips. There. There you go. Turn it there. Oops. Now, if you see the grass dry, touch it to see if it's dry. If it's not dry and it goes on your finger, then don't touch it. Okay, so now, color that blue. Kinsley, color that blue. I suggest, do you have a mat? Or a tray over your thing? Because this can get really messy. And you have to be careful. If you're not careful, then... Look at that. Go on, huh? If, but if you're not really careful, then you don't really get as nice picture as mine. You see, mine is like a cartoon character. Because, um, oh, you can spin it around, too. If you're doing a blue sky like me, you have to let the blue sky dry before you can put everything else on it. There. There you go. There's your dry sky. Now we let that dry. Touch the green to see if it's dry. Oops. Got a little bit of the light blue the scar on me. That's fine. Oops. So now you go here. You see that? You can go on to add a flower. So what you do for flowers is you have to wait because you got the stem already on it. Let's see if I can do this in black. So I'm just circling the stem in black. There. And then there. You can start from there. There, there is your flower. There you go. So we start from there, or you can color it you want to right now as it dries. It's like adding another layer of coat onto your onto your painting. That after dries, shape up your app and then put that there. There. There's your flower. So now, since the blue is drying. You can start to put your blue sky in, your, your white stars in, or clouds in, and then you can kind of make it over your fox's head like that, like that, there like that. There you go. There's my first. So now we put that to the side to let it dry. Second one will be this. 
I imagine this is a smooth stone, so this will be easy to paint. Hmm. Alright. If you want to go with a design like that, then you can. For now, I'm going to be making a necklace of diamonds or something. It's like chains. More, it's more than chains. It's kind of a like, it's, this is kind of like a collar, co choker I mean. Cause you obviously you can see the design of the choker. There. There's my choker. So now, what you can do is you can draw many one like that like one there so now let's start so first the diamond is light blue in the middle so you can color that light blue what and then go here can be a light dark all around If your thing is really runny and it goes everywhere, try to control how you do it. Cause otherwise it's not gonna match work. So now you take your Kleenex, dab it. There you go, there's your gem. Also you can add detail by doing this. Your faded light blue. It can be faded or it can be white. In the middle there too. There you go, see? There's your white blue. Now next of all, the choker is very hard to color. Cause it's almost like you need something to hold it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color the background red. Oh, you can see that. There. So now you kind of, kind of keep doing this until you're comfy with what you. Oops! Accidentally wrecked it. Try to be more careful when you draw, or you'll wreck your thing. Your drawings. You'll wreck your drawings. So this is just an example and some other ones like this. But yeah, you can always come back to me if you ever want to draw like one of these diamonds. Because obviously they're so easy. All you do is just put two dots. A blue there. And then put a white. And then you do the two dots first, or you do the whole thing. And you smudge it outwards. You take, you do the same thing again. There, like that. So you can keep doing that until your, per, your your diamond is how exactly how you want it to be. For my this color so you don't really have to see this much paint.
so you have to, to finish the coloring if you obviously need it but if you need more you just keep smudging or coloring it to give it that nice effect of shape of color My fingers all wet. All right, from that. Okay, so then, then you can do this again. This on the other side. Just to be sure, don't, after you're done with your rock, fix up the detail you messed up after you're done with this. Because if you if you, if you don't fix it, then it's not gonna look very nice. Like that. It gives a nice effect. There. There you go. My second rock is done. Put that to a side. So now we have this cool, smooth rock that has not been finished. Uh, it's really smooth. You can see my fingers can go near it, through it. Okay. So this rock is so smooth that I will be drawing just a gem. So the gem is going to have curved edges. There. Like that. There, there's your gem, and then you can draw a little sapphire here. There, sapphire there. Emerald, sapphire, and then ruby is like us oval. My ruby, it looks really weird. Looks like half a ruby. But it's fine, because I can fix that. By just smudging it. Or taking, you know, taking the tissue, put it like that. Careful and carefully like that. And this is gonna be a cursed Cursed Ruby. Cursed Ruby is very rare in Minecraft. You will not find rubies that are very cursed in Minecraft. They are very extremely hard to find, especially if you ever come across a ruby that is half black it's cursed or half yellow it's still cursed there's my ruby it, it might not it's cursed ruby i don't know why but i think i like the way it is already so i'm we covered this thing right here. There. Oops. 
daisy. There we go. Sapphire or these this color? There's my sapphire. So after it dries, I will be adding detail to the sapphire. Which is right like that. all three of my rocks. Thank you for watching me paint my rocks. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!